So, in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful, today we'll be talking about some very, very interesting stuff. Um, <clears throat> the link between prostitution and poverty. You'll be like, why am I talking about this? It'll become very clear. There is a definite link between poverty and prostitution. And so, I just want to read to you one part uh, as far as this is concerned. And that is... Uh, Um, on average, a prostitute is raped at least once per week, despite their workplace location, street, or brothel, etc. Um, prostitution is extremely dangerous for its victims. You get the point, right? Um, homicide is common cause of death. Now, what happens? Poverty is the prime driving force behind women becoming prostitutes. Now, you can look this up, of course, on the internet because there are multiple sites and multiple statistics and a lot of data on this. Prostitution is a repressive, is, is a repression of women and children and utilizes the vulnerability of poverty to further exploit them. Okay, so why many of the women, if not most of the women, are doing prostitution is because of economic reasons. Now, uh, the link between prostitution and poverty. Okay, so we establish a little bit of a link between them. Now, I would like to talk about the president of Kenya, okay, signs a law for polygamy. Uh, one of these days I might talk about or, or ask the question, talk about, is polygamy a solution to prostitution? And this is a very important question because um, because because of the social factors it has, but I'm going to talk about this from the perspective of the future of women and the future of the number of women that will have eligible mature men to be with. So, and this will become clear in the context when I talk about many of the sayings of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, okay? Uh, now, let's look at this, okay? Uh, sorry, ladies. There is really a short. A, a, there is a sh men shortage. Okay, so you get the idea, right? Uh, then also, for young, never married women, the pool of employed men has shrunk. So you must be thinking, I'm going to talk about the here and the now. I'm not. We're talking about. We're going to be talking about the future, but in a specific context. Okay. Uh, now. Uh, the rise, uh, the rise and the rise of the American sugar daddy. Sugar daddy is basically a older guy who um, pays for to have a girl that's younger than him, usually, and the girl needs her expenses paid, her college paid, and she goes with the richer guy to have that advantage. Okay. Uh, the sugar daddy trend began, began in 2006 when the in, uh, uh, Brandon Lee uh, founded a website called Seeking Arrangement, okay, etc., 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 okay. Uh, do not uh, be enticed by Shaitan to go to these websites, please. Uh, now, uh, Mr. Lee says that business has been boosted by a mixture of filtering and faltering economy, again, bad economy, which has increased the number of cash-hungry young members, okay, and the robust number of baby boomers uh, who often with uh, some assistance, okay, uh, they, well, let's go on, but you get the idea, right? So they uh, need uh um, they have the economic power, they need the money. Um, so, for young, never married women, the pool of employed men has shrunk. This is also, you can see this in the Muslim community, that uh, a lot of our sisters in the 30s and 40s are not ma married, you know, in an unprecedented uh, amount. Usually what happens in for Muslims in America is that they either get married young, or they, they then are career driven and then don't get married till way way later okay but uh, the number of mature men versus the number of mature women uh, there is a lot more mature educated women compared to men and that's uh, uh, you know that's just the state of the affairs for the Muslims 
Um, now, you'll be like, where is this all going? Okay. Uh, Tanzanian president offers polygamy as a solution to prostitution. So this is not my subject today, but it will be one of these days. And I would like to ask uh, you all in the comment section, if you could tell me that, do you think polygamy is a good solution to prostitution? Uh, anyway, this is an interesting article, which I'm not going to get into right now, but you'll see why I'm talking about this. Okay. The second thing I want to talk about is chances of war in the world regarding certain things. Um, so, uh, with global demand for water expected... Now, before I talk about that, let me mention this. Um, only 0.4% of the world's drinkable water is accessible to humans. Future wars will not be over oil. Future wars will be over the scarcity of water. This is a very, very big deal. Um, uh, with global demand for water expected to increase by 40% over the next 20 years, water conflict is expected to increase in water-stressed areas of the world. Now, this is very interesting because I'm, this is not the subject today, that's why I'm not going to show you the hadiths, but there are plenty of authentic sayings of the Prophet that show that water will begin to dry up in the Middle East, which it is, because that's not the subject today, I'm not discussing it, I'm just only pointing to it. If you look at uh, the, the, um, the level of water uh, going down in, this, in Galilee, uh, in the Lake Tiberias, and so on and so forth, and, that, and the sayings of the Prophet regarding that are very clear. So, when you are in this situation, okay, um, and then let me also uh, mention this. Uh, in the U.S., 2.1 trillion gallons of clean water is lost each year due to poor infrastructure. So the water is becoming a bigger and bigger deal. Um, uh, water uh, water privatiza privatization, meaning water bottles, cause more harm than good to the region which the water is taken from. Okay. Uh, 1.6 people die every year from water-borne diseases, okay? And you can go on and talk about water and its effects. So what does the lack of water or, and the scarcity of water have to do with polygamy and prostitution? And uh, it all has to do with meeting the UN's sustainable water development goals for the water crisis will cost this many billion dollars. Uh, don't worry about that right now. Um, so, what are some of the things that, uh, you know, so I want you to read this, okay? Uh, Newsflash, Billionaire Club knows, Bill, uh, Bill Gates called billionaire, billionaire philanthro uh, philanthropists to super secret meeting, by the way, who said this? Uh, it's Market Watch, everybody knows Market Watch, right? Market Watch. Everybody should know this website because it's pretty popular. Um, so, uh, philanthropist to a super secret meeting in Manhattan last May included uh, Buffett, Rockefeller, Soros, Bloomberg, or Turner, Oprah, and others to discuss what? To discuss um, to discuss uh, the uh, issue of the. Uh, population okay and so the issue of the population and then that includes the lack of resources for the growing population uh, okay overpopulation and say the billionaire okay so what are the uh, biggest civilizations clap collapse fast crisis trigger leaders stay confused World War three uh, and I just want us overpopulation multiplier uh, what causes uh, population multiplier here, but I wanted to actually show you this thing here really quickly. First of all, we cannot sustain, according to these people, the amount of food, uh, nor the water, nor the farmland, nor the forests are, you know, being cut down, toxic chemicals, energy resources of nat oil, natural gas, as these resources go down, wars for those will increase, solar energy, is not unlimited. Sunlight is not unlimited, okay? So, you, you know, we're already using up to 50% of the, um, the, the, 
strength that light can give us. Uh, this is a longer discussion which I'm not going to go into right now. But um, you have food, you have water, you have forest, toxic chemicals, solar energy, ozone layer, diversity. Alien species means putting animals out outside their natural habitats, okay? So now, uh, then also when it comes to women, okay, uh, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, there were this many men to women, okay, males, or about a ratio of one and one. The ratio shifts dramatically when looking at older populations. However, between the ages of 85 and older, women outnumber men by two to one, okay? So now, when I mention this hadith, that's actually the topic of today, this, keep this in mind. So, um, there is something interesting. Uh, why are more boys born after, at the end of wars? Um, uh, William James gives an ex is a psychologist who gives an explanation of this. I'm not going to go into this right now, but it is an interesting phenomenon. Um, if you um, want to do the research, you can. Um, if you look at the uh, even the graphs, uh, you know you can see. I don't know if the graph is here right now, but uh, don't worry about this. So, uh, what is also interesting is this. Times of famine linked to disproportionate number of female births. So whenever women are stressed, and whenever there is a, uh, something that, um, that affects survival, women actually give birth to females at that time. Uh, so, cultural factors like selective abortions do not explain the trend. Rather, it seems evolutionary biology, biology does, okay? So, also let's look at the next one very quickly. Uh, stressed women more likely to have baby girls. Okay, so as the world gets more stressed, we're going to see more females. Also, uh, pollution makes for more girls. Okay. Now that I've explained this, so we've talked about how many factors? We've talked about uh, the, the economy going down, the chances of war going up, uh, so many factors that give birth to more women, and, uh, and, and as there are more women, then there are less men, and these men have to take care of these women. Uh, so now that I have explained this, now let's look at the, top, the actual topic of today. Uh, which is, we're going to look at three traditions of the Prophet ﷺ. Let us go over here. Uh, these are narrations from uh, Sahih Bukhari, okay? Uh, from the chapter of Nikah, okay? Sami'atu Rasulullah yaqul, I heard the Prophet ﷺ say, in min ashrat al-sa'ah, amongst the hours of the, the conditions of the hour or the like, um, the, um, the, you know, the, the importance of the hours, uh, 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 the rising of knowledge, so knowledge will decrease, and people will become ignorant, they don't know Islam anymore, okay, and fornication will increase, okay, uh, and the increasing of drinking of alcohol, uh, the men will become in shortage. Okay, it's also interesting. The Prophet mentioned the word rijal. Rijal, rijal. Whenever you use the word Quran, uses the word rijal. It means men, mature men. Rijalun sadaku ma ahadullah alayhi. Men who have kept their promises to Allah. Or rijalun la tulhihim tijaratun wa la bayun an dikrilla. These are real mature men. There's a lot of males, but not that many mature men. Okay? So it's interesting the Prophet uses the word rijal, real men, right? And they will be in shortage, like today, in some ways. And women will increase in population. So something will happen in the world. Could be wars, could be pollution, could be stress, could be the economic situation. So, 
women will increase حتى يكون خمسين امرأة القيم واحد so 50 women will be taken care of by one man this could mean that they don't have knowledge of the deen and one man marries 50 women or 50 could be a majazi term like Ibn Hajar mentioned uh, just a metaphorical meaning a lot okay it could also mean that one man will take care of many women because in, in his family because we talked about how women over outlive men and the the ratio is two to one right now uh, at least in the US right so there's more women to take care of in your family people near you your relatives and one man okay this could happen because of wars there can be many reasons or many a, a, con a, conglo a conglomeration of many reasons why this happens now <coughs> Next tradition of the Prophet ﷺ mentions the same thing. I'm just going to read it very quickly and then make final comments and then we will be done. And then I'm going to ask you a final question on this issue. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, من أشرات الساعة أن يقل العلم Amongst the, uh, uh, the signs of the hour is the shortage of true knowledge ويظهر الجهل and the prevailing of ignorance uh, 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 fornication will increase and men, women will be a lot uh, and men will become few and only one would be taking care of them in another hadith um, it mentions that 40 women would follow one man right um, so it, you also have this hadith here of the Prophet Sallallahu uh, The Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He said the hour will not happen or he said Min or the, uh, the signs of the conditions of the hour is The knowledge will increase